We're going to do another tune in the key of E, where you can use the blues box. And this is an old Lieber Stoller song called I'm a Hog for You Baby that the Coasters did. And it has, a, it has uh, the original recording has a famous one chord, I mean one note solo that goes on for about 16 bars of, of a single note. Actually, you could say it's a couple notes because he's bending up to the note. Um, this time, instead of using the power chords, we're going to do some variations of them. Um, all our chord families that we've done so far in the key of G or E have uh, had six string root one chords. Now we're going to use a fifth string root one chord. Um, instead of using this fifth string root power chord, I'm going to give you uh, throw a curve at you. Here's this is kind of an R and B tune, and here's a good R and B chord for you. It's this ninth chord. It resembles the B seventh chord in the first position. If you were just to take your B seventh chord and remove your little finger and then drag your ring finger down so it covers one, two, and three, you'd have a B nine. And this is the B note, so the fifth string is the root of this chord. If we play it up here, where at the seventh fret where you've got an E note, that's an E nine. And that's what key we're in is E. An E ninth chord is just a variation of an E seventh chord, in other words. And in a lot of R&B and blues tunes, you use all seventh chords or ninth chords, like this one, for instance. So we've got a one chord, and we've got a four chord right here. This is just like your full A chord, except I've taken the pinky out to make it into an A seventh. And then you move it up two frets, and you get your five chord. So remember in our Louie Louie thing, we had a one, four, five pattern that looked like this. Now we've got a 1-4-5 pattern that looks like this. 1-4-5 is in. You can do it that way too. And that's now you're now you're doing that. That's your Louie Louie check that you do always to find out whether you've got a coherent 1-4-5 chord family. Um, now, like remember, we're not using power chords in this tune. We're using one, four, and five. So here's a little bit of uh, I'm a Hog for You Baby. It goes, it's a very sentimental song. It goes, I'm a hog for you, baby. Can't get enough of your love. I'm a hog for you, baby. Can't get enough of your love. When I go to sleep at night, you're the only one I'm dreaming of. as far as lyrics are concerned. Anyway, when we play lead on top of this tune, you're in E, so you're still going to do this blues box up at the 12th fret. But I'm going to introduce a new element here. I'm going to give you a, a little extension of this blues box, which is the second, the second blues box that grows out of it. If you slide up with your ring finger on the second string to this note here, which is to duplicate this note, which is your, your key note, that's an E note here, then you're in shape for the second blues box, and you're going to use these notes here. And this, all these, these couple of boxes are both charted out in, your, in the written material that comes with this video, but for now you should know that you're going to bend strings, mostly just that bend. And, and you can slide back down to the first blues box on your third string. So when, when I play lead for I'm a Hog for You Baby, I'm going to be going back and forth between the first and second uh, blues position quite a lot. Mm -hmm. 